In the last few days, a number of you have sent me several emails inquiring about how to go about starting the assignment on organizational management. So I want to take the opportunity to address that several questions you have. Um, there are questions relating to how do I format my assignment. There are questions relating to the word count. There are questions relating to the question itself in, in the compulsory questions and the optional questions. So I want to use this opportunity to really address those questions and uh, I hope that you find it uh, useful. And then if you haven't subscribed to my channel, try as much as possible to subscribe. Please do because um, I will be also uh, posting some other videos relating to uh, organizational management, especially some of the questions that you'll be addressing. So I will answer those questions. So let's go straight to the key focus for today. So what do I want to address? So I want to address a number of things. Number one relations to the word count. So the word count for the organizational management assignment is 500 words for the compulsory questions, which is number one, and 500 words for any of the optional one you selected. So there are two questions uh, for you to answer two questions. So number one is compulsory and which carries 500 words. And uh, you can go over number one questions by uh, not more than 10%. So, and then the same applies to either question two or question three. So it's 10%, uh, not more than 10%, but I would strongly recommend not um, going below the, the required word count um, for, for obvious reasons, because um, you, you may not uh, sufficiently address the, the questions. And to give you a guide in terms of how you go about addressing each of those questions, so that is why I want to address the issue of formatting as well. So when you are uh, formatting your assignment, and, and this is a general um, guide for whether it's question one or it's question two or question three, whichever one you, you choose in the optionals one plus the compulsory one, the formatting requirements are more likely to be uh, the same. Um, the, the, the key things you want to do in addressing the, the question, if you're starting with question one, for example, make sure it's an essay, write it in a essay form, right? So what that means is that you have your introduction, you have your uh, body, and then you have your conclusion. And also as well, and that, that same patterns we apply to whether you answer question two or you answer question three. So make sure, if you haven't even um, looked at my videos on writing the perfect uh, essay, please make sh try as much as possible to, to uh, to watch it, maybe you'll find that uh, also useful. Now, let's go back to question one. So, what is in question one? So, question one asks you to make reference to uh, the Thomas Cook uh, case that was there, that is presented to you in as part of the as part of the question. So, make reference to that particular case studies and discuss how organization can avoid decline using the weight sale and junk scene uh, framework. So, this particular question. Is, up, is asking you to apply a particular framework. And a number of you have sent me an email saying whether you can apply more than one framework. The, my response to that is no, you cannot have, apply more than one framework. And given that the question in this case asks you to address uh, the case studies using a specific framework. So you must make sure that the framework you are using is what you've been asked to do. Otherwise, you you will not be answering the uh, the question. That is that is really important because I've seen emails relating to oh whether can I can I apply the greenness um uh, models uh, frameworks and I have said no you can't uh, you can't apply that because that is not what you've been asked to do. So in in answering question one, make sure you apply the the particular frameworks and you can go back to the lecture slide. Uh, you, obviously, you've been taught. On these on these particular frameworks, so the the uh, the Wilson and Johnson frameworks is is what you need to apply to this particular um, to this particular uh, case. So in applying in applying the, the the framework, so I can just summarize the, the the frameworks for you, just for you to get an just for you to get an insight. I will do another videos where I will present a short uh, lectures. On the on organizational decline, 
I, I would I will do that um, within next week I'll post it maybe you also find it I'm, I'm sure you'll find it useful anyways so let me quickly summarize what the frameworks is the 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 Whitson and Johnson framework so this is a frameworks of organizational decline or declines in organizations so normally the frameworks actually uh, goes through uh, five stage, stages and suggested that organization go through declines across um, to experience declines across five uh, different stages and the first stage actually relates to um, the organization is blind to early stage uh, stages of decline that is the organization is, is is blind to early stages of decline and the second the second um, stage um, recognizes the need for change where the organization recognizes the need for change but takes no actions so you can go back to your lectures um, and, and, and read on that and the third stage um, is where organization takes action but the action is inappropriate and that at this particular point and the fourth um, stage, this is where it reaches um, a point of crisis, where the organization reaches a, a point of crisis. And obviously the fifth stage is where the organization is forced to, to dissolve. So this is, this is what the, um, the Wilson and Johnson um, frameworks of organizational decline is about so number one is that the organization is blind to the early stages of decline number two is that the organization recognizes the need for change but takes no actions number three is that um, the organization takes actions but the action is inappropriate and number four is where the organization reach a point of no uh uh, return a, 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 that is a crisis stage and then number five is that uh, organizations are forced to dissolve so if if uh, the, this is this is just a snapshot of of what that particular framework is about I will do specific videos on that trying to explain that um, for you um, but you so what we require you to do is to apply each of these stages to the case study that will be given, extract information from the case that relates to each of the of the stages, and also look at empirical evidence from literature. So it's going to be a critical writing, and then you can apply that in in depth. So that is what number one is asking you to do uh, in 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 the in the sense. But when you go to number two, if you are choosing uh, question two, for example, question two asks you to discourse. Uh, how the quarters uh, change models again application a specific um, framework change quarters change models you've been taught about this when when you if you go back to your lectures on on change and managing change you will find this particular um, frameworks there how can these particular frameworks be used to turn organizations around during uh, turbulent times now you, what you want to do in the, with this type of question number one is to look at okay what is change what is change management and and what is this particular framework you explain that you look at literatures what are the literature saying around this and also you want to make sure that you you try to apply the frameworks to specific organization as well also a question three is to evaluate the business case for corporate social responsibility and provide justification for contemporary organizations. So the business case here means the uh, benefit of corporate social responsibility for organizations and why contemporary organizations should invest in, in CSR projects. That's really important. So I, I think I've received questions relating to that and how contemporary organizations, how businesses can, how businesses um, can invest in corporate social responsibility. So what, what, how do you get articles relating to answering any of the questions, whether it be number one, two, or three? There are um, sources you can use. So you can go to Google, Google Scholars, you will see, um, if, you, if you put in the keywords that you're looking for, you will see articles relating to each of these topics. You can also obviously um, use sciencedirect.com uh, so if you use Science the Right, it's a database where you can get quite a number of um, articles relating to any of these topics, basically. So that will give you a help way in terms of starting your assignment. I hope that you will you find these informations useful. 
but I will also do another video specifically on each of these topics where I will summarize each of the key topics on the assignment and I will also post it on this channel so make sure if you haven't subscribed make sure that you subscribe and also like and share um, the, the, the materials as well I hope that you 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 find uh, the video useful and if you have comment please drop um, comment on the uh, on, 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 on the channels and, and I will try to respond to it as well so I hope you find it useful and uh, I will do another videos and, 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 and please do come around as well so thank you very much